Hi guys, I thought I would do a very quick upload so that you will understand where we're all at. It's been an exciting week. Yara and I had three days away at the Kingfisher Resort on Fraser Island and then came back to continue the communication with Holy Father Emeritus Pope Benedict. Um, Saturday the 23rd is the historic meeting he is having with Pope Francis at 12.15 Rome time. I'll just read to you a little so that you can um, be completely updated about what's been going on. Uh, <clears throat> I asked Father Giuseppe what time is the meeting. He says 12.15 p.m. our time is the meeting, March 23rd. And then there's a message from the Holy Father. Hello, Mrs. Marshall. The Holy Father Emeritus is going to issue a letter regarding Mr. Marshall, probably on Sunday, March 24th, the day after the meeting. He told me to ask you if it is okay if you can make a video regarding that letter after it is written in order to make it more well known what he has to say. So what he's suggesting is that we do a video response to the letter he puts together and then um, if there's to be any alteration he can do that before it is published. This is going to be a very big deal and Pope Francis will most likely be informed of it as well. He's referring to the letter that he's about to publish. The Holy Father will do a live response session on email around the time he publishes the letter. So that will be communication between Yara and himself over the contents of the letter if there's to be any tweaking of the letter. Um, just to give you a bit of insight, Father Giuseppe, yes, tell the Holy Father Whatever way he organises will be divine and we will do as he directs. The holy angels are excited as we and our disciples are. All history is culminating with the meeting of these two men. The Christ is saying this is the biggest event in history and all are praying for both men. And then the response comes back, oh thank you so much, we too are excited. And uh, we started to do some numbers over the time here. It will be 8.15 Eastern Standard Time, or rather Brisbane time, <laughs> in Tugum, Australia, where we are when the meeting is taking place at 12.15 in Rome, Saturday the 23rd. i just make a, a, a comment. I said the Christ is doing the numbers on it now. And the moon will be directly over our house here in Tugum at your time in Rome on Saturday at 12.15. We will include it in the presentation he is working on. His computer seems to have been taken over by the angels who do have a habit of causing havoc sometimes. All very annoying. Love and peace to all, JMGM. He comes back with ha ha ha. I hope his computer difficulties will end quickly. Much love to you guys as well. So, we did the summary. It's all amazing. I'll just read to you the summary. Having done the sun and moon positions to Rome, the summary 3134, which is Maranatha, the coming divine judgment of the Christ, and 46, which is holy. Um, we'll post more in depth. There's a lot describing the destruction of the world of evil. All good for the good. Obama and Netanyahu are meeting now in Israel. They now they know they are finished. And of course they'll be attempting to start World War III, but no chance. And then I go a little later, 2.56 p.m. Hi guys, again a summary of the most important day in history. I explain the meanings of some of the numbers. These are some of the numbers in the measuring that Yahweh did. 11.29 in Hebrew is to build, to obtain children, to make, repair, set up, surely. In Greek is training, exercise. 1443 is a reference to Revelation 14.4, which is the 144,000. 1443 in Hebrew is mason, repairer, fence up, hedge and close, make a wall. In Greek it is patriarch, Hebrew. 2515 in Hebrew is distribution, division, and in Greek is a bench or seat. 1524 in Hebrew is a revolution of time as in an age, rejoice, rejoicing exceedingly, gladness greatly, joy. 1524 in Greek means to enter into, so entering into the above description. 111 is the rebirth of the Christ, 11th of January, and Isaiah 11.1 1, 
also Pope Benedict, the 111th Pope, and the final in the prophecy of St. Malachi. 1114 is the number of lunations making up the height of the Grand Gallery of the Pyramid when each lunation equals one pyramid inch. 1114 equals Revelation 1114 and completed on the announcement of Benedict on February 11th, 2013 when 1115 lunation and Revelation 1115 began. 1253 in Greek is judicial estimation, discern, and in Hebrew, Psalm 1253, which is cleanness, purify, pure. So I just finished with it's the tip of the iceberg on this historical occasion of the two elect meeting in Rome on Saturday, the 23rd of March, 2013, at 12.15 UTC plus one. And there's a diagram of the measuring. So that's what's going on. Uh, I know you'll all be keeping both men in your prayers. They are both men are just wonderful and we are delighted. So I'm going to let this go up now. We, um, Joel is preparing a lengthy upload that addresses both popes and he's going to need all the bandwidth he can get. <laughs> so I'll get this one up quickly. Okay. Later, Gators.